And now this, Louisiana issued an indoor mask guidance as health officials say they're, they're seeing the beginning of a surge because of the Omicron variant. We bring in Senator Bill Cassidy, Republican from Louisiana, which has a Democratic governor. So, Senator, I ask you, um, is your state going backwards? State's not going backwards. Uh, of course, I would, as a doctor, I am a physician, I'd always recommend we rely upon local health officials. We are seeing an increase in the number of infections, but we're not seeing an increase in the number of hospitalizations. And as I gather what the governor has said, state agencies are, re are allowed to recommend that their employees wear masks. Not so much a mandate as much as kind of an urge. Um, so I will defer to the state um, a public health officer. So it seems like there's nothing wrong with that then, right? I, I, I'm fine with that. Okay, you could recommend I wear a mask. Too. I'm happy to listen. My, 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 my push has always been you allow local officials to make the decisions that are important for their locality yeah. uh, because they're the ones that are on the ground, if you will. And so, so that's consistent with this principle, and, I, and I, st I continue to kind of hold that. I agree with you. Uh, my pushback would be, and, and granted, I'm in a different part, a, a much more blue part of, uh, of the country. But, you know, we've had so many restrictions put on us by local entities happening at the worst time. I mean, right ahead of the Christmas holiday. Uh, you can tell me what it's like where you are, but here people are depressed. They're angry. They're frustrated. The rules keep changing, and it's very hard to keep up. And all we want to do is safely see our family and friends for Christmas. I'm totally with you on that, totally understand, because a lot of the restrictions do not seem to be rational. Yeah. Uh, we need to have a strategy. It needs to be clearly enunciated. And the strategy should be, how do we keep hospitals from becoming overburdened? You're not going to prevent infection. Infection is going to occur. And so let's have a strategy that keeps the hospitals from being overburdened. If folks had a kind of line of sight as to what was being recommended, prevented that from occurring, I think they'd feel better about it. You know, as a doctor, let me ask you, there's talk right now that for a fully vaccinated uh, individual who does contract coronavirus, should their quarantine be lessened? Should it be curtailed? I think we, we have tests. This is not... Well, you, we don't not have hocus tests. Pocus. <laughs> we don't. Uh, no, no, there's a test. You can do the PCR. If you're, if you're infected, you will know when you're no longer infected. So to ask somebody to quarantine for 10 days when they may be PCR negative after three, you could really curtail it uh, after three days. And so we have this testing. We can serially test. If we know that, then people can go back into commerce, if you will. So what number would you recommend then for the quarantine for a fully vaccinated positive person? Yeah, so I would recommend serial testing. Um, it's like the NBA. Uh, the players are out there. You know, some of them are infected. So mm -hmm. you test them. If they're positive, you ask to sit. You check them again in two to three days. If they're negative, then you allow them Got to go it. back. Got the it. idea behind being fully vaccinated is that your antibodies are going to take out the virus sooner as opposed to later. If this is the case, then people don't have to wait in their room for 10 days. Are you worried, Senator, that um, you, a, a lot of people who have been able to test themselves with an at-home test because they were able to get one, they're, they're, they're swabbing themselves and, oh, you know, we're, we're positive, but they're not getting, they're not going to the doctor and, and getting an official test, so they're not being counted. So the number of uh, Omicron infections right now might actually be a lot higher than it is? It might be, but really our point is not to prevent infection. We know from this virus that people are going to get infected even if previously immune. Our, our, our desire is to prevent hospitalizations and ICU admissions and deaths. Mm -hmm. Now, there's strategies to that. If you clearly enunciate that strategy for nursing homes and the immunocompromised, you take an extra level of precaution. You deploy the new Pfizer pill, hopefully approve it as soon as possible, and deploy it where there are hot spots. Um, then mm -hmm. you actually have a better strategy and one which is more yeah. uh, achievable. Sounds smart. Senator, thank you for the time. Merry Christmas.